he's a baker, and I mean, good heavens, I call him a drunk, except some people might think that were unkind. Do you think that's an unkind thing to say? No. No. So, I met Malcolm, and Malcolm met me. Yes, Malcolm met me. Oh, you don't get it, do you, dim bulb? Malcolm met Natalie, the lady in the well. Yes, but now you're gonna let me out of here. Would you think? Malcolm met Natalie in the well. And she doesn't need to be rescued anymore because obviously she's not in the well anymore. Yeah. And just to make sure, I did go and visit Malcolm at the sanitarium where they put him, just to make sure. And, uh, well, we got to talk. Long story short, I paid a bloody fortune to get rid of him for good so he could fulfill his lifelong dream. Oh, you don't know? Yeah. So, Malcolm's, you know, life fantasy was uh, a, a beach, a bottle, and I was, well, you know. Anyway, so I put him on a plane to Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah, I came to just see him in his brass skirt doing the hula, sipping a Mai Tai. No, I never had a Mai Tai. I'm gonna have to get Trevor to make me a Mai Tai. Or maybe we'll go out. That's what we should do, yes. We'll go out. We will go out for my time. We will go out to Hawaii on my time and a honeymoon. I don't believe any of this. Here. Got proof. Hmm? He, uh, found this in his shoe when he sobered up. Malcolm pawned the pearls that you gave him, then squandered all the cash in a very old bottle of cognac, you know, so they tell me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there go your dreams of a rescue, darling. <laughs> selfish person. How typical, how utterly typical of you. What about Timmy? Of course I care about Timmy. He's as good as dead to me anyway now. You would let me raise Timmy? You'll be a very good mother, Janet, I'm sure. And you'd let me have Trevor? You never did. I love him more now than you ever did. You're right, Janet. You're absolutely right. You love him more than I ever did. And that's why I've come up with a solution. What solution? It's a way we can both get what we want. You get Trevor and I get to live. Yeah, right. You get me out of here. And you give me some money. And I will go far away. Just like Malcolm. And you'll never hear from me again, I swear. Sure. It's true, I'll go away and I, I would never say anything and I won't ever prosecute and you know, I don't know why? Why? Because I'd be you. I'll be Janet. Well, you do look awfully good in those clothes. So you see, don't you, that, that we both get what we want. You get to keep Trevor and, and I get to live. This is very tempting, but, you know, you know, you're right. I really don't want you to die here. You know, how do I know that, that you're not going to leave here and, and go run to Trevor and tell him everything? I promise I won't. No, that's not good enough. 
That, that is no, nowhere near good enough. Natalie, I need a guarantee. Now, what kind of a guarantee are you willing to make me, huh? Good news, Dylan. What? O'Malley just canceled his vacation. So? So, his was scheduled for next week, the week you asked for. You kidding? No, now you don't have to wait till October for your honeymoon. The week's yours if you want it. I don't know. I know it's short notice, but we're talking honeymoon, aren't we? Yeah, but we're also talking major scheduling problems. You're pulling my leg. No, it takes time for, uh, you know, reservations and tickets and hotels, etc. Et You're turning it down? Yeah, oh, thanks. Thanks anyway. I, are you sure? I mean, I'm giving you first dibs. No, I really appreciate it. First week in October is going to be fine. Whatever you say. Are we on the same dimension? I thought you couldn't wait to get your honeymoon underway. I can't. Well, you could have fooled me. It's just, it's a timing problem, that's all. Or? Or what? Look, there was a lot of tension around the old dinner table last night, Trevor. You and Natalie seemed, um, off. Yeah, well, it's just, the Tim man is, is having a problem, and he needs us around. That it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to my honeymoon. Uh, waiting's just gonna make it that much better. McKay's. Oh, uh, hi. Um, I was trying to locate Jackson Montgomery. Can you tell me if he's there? No, he's not. Oh, uh, well, his secretary told me that he'd gone to McKay's. Uh, um... Oh, Mr. Montgomery was here, but he and Miss Kane finished dinner and left. Oh, all right. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Well, did you have a nice dinner? 